Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about how you can modify a list while you're iterating. Now, those of you that are experienced are like, wait a minute, you can't do that. Uh, but I'm going to show you kind of the problems that you run into and a few workarounds that I've used in the past that help get around this. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, we are going to set up a small example here. This actually comes from Nedbat's Twitter, uh, which was the inspiration for this video and why I wanted to show this in the first place. Uh, we're going to make a very simple Python file. We're going to set up a list that is going to be a just the numbers from 0, zero to 9, uh, just as a silly example. I'll show you what that list is just by printing it. And then we're going to loop over this list and remove things at the same time. And it's not quite going to do what we expect it to do. So for n in list, we're going to remove the ones that are divisible by 3. At least that's what the example was in Ned's tweet. If n mod 3 is equal to 0, we're going to iterate and modify the list at the same time. Now this code is actually going to work properly uh, for luck reasons. Uh, there are other reasons that it, well, it's not exactly luck. It's, um, it just happens to work out this way. Uh, if this list were in a different order, this particular piece of code is not going to work. Uh, but anyway, what we're going to do is if n mod 3 is equal to 0, we're going to remove the number. Otherwise, we're going to print so you would intuitively expect this to skip 0, print 1, 2, skip 3, print 4, 5, skip 6, print 7, 8, and then skip 9. However, when we run this, you'll see that it does a different thing. And I'm just going to print the actual list at the end to show that it, it still does what we, ex what we expect to do, but it's not going to iterate in the way that we expect. So if we run this, you'll see that we start with our list from 0 to 9. Uh, we end up removing 0, 3, and 6 from this, and 9 from this. Uh, but you'll notice we only printed 2, 5, and 8 in the middle. We skipped 1, we skipped 4, and we skipped 7. We skipped three numbers in here. And the reason for that is, is this iterator, or th this for loop, is actually just kind of magic for an iterator. Uh, so what, what kind of happens here is you get a list of, let's say, list range 10. Uh, and every time this for loop runs, it's, or well, first, at the start of the for loop, it makes an iterator. Iter list, and then every time the for loop runs, it does next. So it'll do next iter. Uh, we get zero. Zero would get removed. So if we do list dot remove zero, uh, that's going to remove an item from the list, but it's not going to advance this iterator. This iterator really just looks at this position of the list. And so once this gets deleted, the one gets moved over. Uh, it's still at the same position. And then it moves the position forward. So now it's actually looking at the two. So if we do next it, we'll see we're at the two. And that's kind of the, the whole problem of this. And that like you usually shouldn't modify a list while you're iterating over it because you'll end up with weird states like this. Um, and in fact, if you have a dictionary, a dictionary will, will actually uh, raise an exception when you do this. So if we say like uh, v, v, for v in range 10, I don't know, a very silly dictionary, uh, for k, v in dict dot items, if k is equal to 2, then del dict k, for example. And you'll see that we get this error that uh, the dictionary changed size during iteration. This is actually a different problem, um, but it's kind of the same class of problems in that you're modifying something while iterating over it. I'll show a solution for this in a second as well. But I wanted to show you the clever solution that fixes this problem. And it, it still works, uh, and you can still modify while iterating, but we're, doing, we're gonna do a little trick here. So instead of iterating forwards, we're going to iterate backwards by calling reversed on this. And the way this is going to work is it's going to iterate from this side downwards. And since we're only modifying things after what we're looking at, the iterator doesn't break. It still continues to march along in the right direction and doesn't uh, you know, kind of get this off by one from this removal. Uh, so if we run this, 3t.py, you'll see that we do print all the numbers we expect. We get 8, 7, 5, 4, 2, 1. We remove the three things and it works. So this is just kind of a, a, a nifty little hack to allow you to modify it while iterating. Um, I actually use this in pretty much all of my code formatters uh, because they have to do some token modifications. And so if I iterate backwards, I can modify any future token without affecting the iteration, which is kind of neat. Uh, but yeah, that's how you can fix it for lists. Uh, but if you need to iterate forward, you actually need to make a copy of the list in order to do that. And one way to do that is by calling 
either list on it or uh, doing a full list slice or calling tuple or anything like that. So if we do it like this, you'll see now we get the, the thing that we expect here. And note this is going to add a, a full list overhead. Uh, you know, you're going to do a full copy of this list, a shallow copy of this list to uh, do this. So it might not be what you want. And if we go to the, the dictionary case, um, that's what you kind of have to do. You kind of have to copy the keys in order to modify that. Uh, oops, let's say another example. DCT equals this, print our dictionary is, and then for kv in dict, uh, just to show you breaking again, if k is equal to 2, uh, this is a silly example, of course, you would probably just remove that value directly, uh, but we're going to do it with this, and equals, this is the failing example where we get the uh oh we got items yep yep yep, yep. Uh, we get this error here uh, and we can work around this by uh, doing a copy of the items here so this tuple is going to build a new tuple of the items that way uh, we'll be able to iterate over the tuple without really caring about the underlying dictionary and so that allows us to remove that particular element while it's iterating Anyway, uh, that's kind of the, the solutions to this problem. Again, this has a full copy of things, so it has a, a lot of space overhead, as does this, um, and you can use the reversed trick for lists. You can't use the reverse trick for dictionaries because they're, they're hash maps, so they're not, um, they, don't, they don't have re really a concept of ordering. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.